The FDA could expand access for all adults nationwide as early as today. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell joins us live this morning. And Aaron, the CDC would actually make the final call to allow more people to get the shot. Yeah, that's right, Amy. So it's usually how it works is once the FDA makes a, a, a vote and they approve it, it goes to the CDC and then the director signs off on it. But we have heard that a lot of people have been showing up to pharmacies to receive their booster shots. Now, Pfizer said new data from a large clinical trial of more than 10,000 fully vaccinated people found that a booster dose was over 95 percent effective against COVID-19 compared to individuals who were fully vaccinated but had not received a booster dose. Now, a press release issued by Pfizer said that during the study period, there were five cases of COVID-19 in the booster group and 109 cases in the non-boosted group. The company also said the efficacy of the booster dose was consistent across different ages and racial and ethnic groups. Now, the Pfizer booster, as well as the Moderna booster, is currently available for those 65 and older, those with underlying health conditions, and for people whose job puts them at a higher risk of getting COVID-19. And also, if you still need your second dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, if you're 18 and up, you can sign up to receive that as well. I'll send it back to you all.